Hey, good day everybody. I've got this round heavy duty toilet seat from CC Bello for an unboxing and review. We picked this up off of Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Check it out. Okay, it's kind of a more of a round 16.5 inches toilet seat. There's the seat. And here's the seat screws. Went ahead and pulled the plastic off that. Oh, that's a nice one. Got the old toilet seat here. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these up back here and unscrew those screws right there. And there's a there's a thing underneath it. Let me turn the light on so you can see that. There's that old rusty screw, and here's the wing nut that goes with it. Reaching underneath here. Ooh, that wing nut is frozen. These things are heavily, heavily corroded. That one, that one's going good. There we go. I'm gonna reach underneath here with my hand and grab that wing nut, hold it still, and just turn this way. Ooh, those babies are rusted. I'm gonna have to go get a pair of pliers. Man, that thing was so heavily corroded on there, so I had to grab some channel locks there and just undo this. So I think there comes a point in time where you're gonna to need to grab a, a grinder that gets so corroded on there like that where you can't get it off you might just have to grind it off there but I know if I get this off here I can just punch that screw up give it a tap and uh, and unscrew it that way things darn near frozen in place so what I'm gonna do now is give it a little tap with my there we go okay I'm gonna have to budge See, Ooh, we've got some cleanup to do up there. At least we got to do the same thing with the other side. Well, these securing uh, fasteners were on there so good it took a screwdriver and some channel locks underneath to loosen it up. It even broke that wing nut. That just kind of gives you an idea how how corroded and in place these were. So now it'll just come right on out. Super easy. I don't know why they make these plastic anymore, but all you do is just take your take your lid now and just pull it right off. Come straight out. There we go. I'll clean that up. Put the new one. Got that cleaned up now. Put the put the new one on. Now these new ones they pop up and down right there. And so same with this. Just pop that up. There we go. Now the screw will go down there. Take both of these like that. Set it down on there and line it up. Okay, how this goes is that actually sits right down in there like that, and then that's gonna go that way. Okay, it'll be the same for this side. Pull that off, put that down through there. This is gonna go right here. This will sit flat. Take these pieces and put them on the bottom of both of those fasteners. Okay, I got the fasteners connected to the bottom of both of them. I'm gonna just pull this thing all the way forward because that's what looks the best. Now I'm just gonna hold the fastener on the bottom. You can't see, but with this hand, I'm gonna hold it on the bottom of this and I'm gonna screw it in with that. See? Hold that half wing nut down there. Makes it a lot quicker if you do it this way. There we go. The same thing for this side. Hold this bottom side of that with this hand. Screw it in with this one. There we go. Same with that. Don't over tighten it. There we go. Now I'll just go like that. There we go, easy as that. That is a nice, slow closing lid. That's exactly what we want. Don't want something that slams, something that closes nice and slow. 
right, you guys. thanks for watching.